Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to this video. A while back, I did some videos on the inner smart light bulbs. And what I also invested in is a inner smart plug. Now, here it is. It's the inner SP242 smart plug with power monitoring. So if you want to know how to use one of these for power monitoring in a home assistant, keep watching this video and I'll show you how. So here we are and I've logged into Home Assistant at the dashboard as you will see and I've already got some Zigbee smart light bulbs here which I've already added and I've also got the clock and weather card. If you want the clock and the weather card by the way I've already done a video on it on my channel which you'll find and it's adding the clock and weather card so just look up that video. Anyway moving on what we need to do first is Click on Zigbee to MQTT at the left hand side menu. This will take you in to your Zigbee devices dashboard. Now, as you can see, I've already added the smart plug here. Now, if you haven't already added your smart plug, what you need to do is where it says permit join all at the top here, click on that button and you will be presented with a countdown timer. As you will see, it counts down from four minutes, 15 seconds. And then what you need to do to add your smart plug is power it on, of course. And then with the button on the left hand side of the smart plug, hold it down for five seconds, which will then factory reset it. And it should then appear to be adopted into your Zigbee device list here. So then once it's been added, it will appear as a device with a smart plug icon here and some random characters, which will be slightly different from what mine are here, as you'll see. And then once it's been added, you can then disable join at the top by clicking the button. Then what we need to do is give our smart plug a more friendly name. So to do this, click on the set of random characters here, and this will take you in to the smart plug details. So at the top, you will see we've got friendly name, and what we need to do is click on the pen and the square icon here and then a pop-up window will appear asking you to rename it. So what we'll do in the friendly name box is remove all those characters and type in, for example, smart plug. And then what you need to do is move the slider for update home assistant entity ID. So click the slider, it will turn blue as you can see and then what you need to do is click on rename device. As you can see, it's now changed the friendly name to smart plug, or you can change it to anything you like, of course. And then what you need to do is go back to the list of devices. So at the top here, next to Zigbee to M at, and then the IP address or Zigbee coordinated aim, click on devices next to that. Then you'll see we've got smart plug, then what you need to do is make sure that the firmware for the smart plug is up to date. So to update the firmware, at the top select OTA here, and then this will take you in to the list of devices with their firmware versions, as you will see. And I've already updated my smart plug. So the current version for the smart plug, so the inner SP242 smart plug, which is shown here under the list of models, is firm firmware version 1.9.29. This is at the time of recording this video on the 8th of April 2025. So if you haven't already updated your firmware, I would certainly recommend doing this. Otherwise, it will not properly report various energy uses for the smart plug. So to update it, all you need to do with the icon at the right hand side is click on check for new updates. Now, of course, you can only do it if your smart plug or any other Zigbee devices are powered on. So once you've clicked check for new updates, it will then proceed to check for updates and it will then proceed to update the firmware. Now, as I've said, I've already done this this morning and it does take quite a long while to update the firmware for the smart plug. So just be aware of that. It can take about 30 minutes to update the smart plug firmware. So please do it at a time when you've got half an hour or whatever free. And as I've said, you just click check for no updates and then it will proceed to update it. And you'll have a progress bar telling you how long it's going to take to finish it. And once it's done, it will just automatically apply the firmware. So once you've updated the firmware for the smart plug, 
what you can do is go back to your list of devices at the top here. This will take you back into your list of Zigbee devices. So then what we need to do is make sure that the device that you want to monitor power with is actually plugged in to your Zigbee smart plug. What I've been doing is testing the energy usage for my smart TV. So what we'll do is to add the smart plug and energy uses to the dashboard. So we'll click on overview at the left hand side. So what we'll do is add a card here with the energy consumption and usage for the device plugged into the smart plug. So to do this in the top right corner of your home assistant dashboard, select the pen, which is edit dashboard. Then what we're going to do is in the bottom right corner, select add card. Then in the window that appears, you will get search cards. So what we need to do is select entity and then in the search box type smart plug or whatever the name of your smart plug is called. And here it will bring a list of smart plug options which you can add. So what we're going to do is add the first one which looks like a slider switch and it says switch dot smart underscore plug. Then select the smart plug current smart plug energy, smart plug power, and then smart plug voltage. Then once you've selected those options and put a tick in the relevant boxes, you can then select continue in the bottom right corner of the pop-up window. Then what it will say is we've created a suggestion for you. So what it's saying is it's going to add smart plug, smart plug current, smart plug energy, smart plug power, and smart plug voltage. And then what you need to do is just select add to dashboard Then you will see we've got a new card added with the smart plug which shows the current in amps energy in kilowatt hours smart plug power in wattage and smart plug voltage so what you could do is click edit for that card and then in the title which is optional of course you can type in the name so we'll call it smart plug power monitoring then once you've done that just click save and then in the top right corner click done and now you'll see you've got your smart plug added to your home assistant dashboard which is monitoring the current energy power and voltage of your device which is plugged into your smart plug now just to let you know that what you can also do is click on each individual item in the card so for example smart plug energy and this will then bring up a graph telling you how much kilowatt hours your device has used now, as you can see, it's currently zero because we've only just added it. Now, what you can also do is click on show more. And then what it will do is bring up a bigger graph for a longer time period. And it will show you all the kilowatt hours used for the device plugged into the smart plug. Now, as you can see, we've got a blue bar at the moment and it's currently showing 0 0.36 kilowatt hours. Now, what this will do is update itself every 10 minutes so every 10 minutes the power consumption voltage wattage and kilowatt hours will all update every 10 minutes so it will pull the smart plug from your zigbee coordinator and update this information here in home assistant every 10 minutes now to go back out of this history just click the left arrow here at the top and it will take you back to your dashboard now what you can also do is change the monitoring period so that it updates every fewer minutes. So instead of 10 minutes, you can change it to say 15, 20, 30 or 5 minutes and so on. Now to do this, what you need to do is in the left side, click Zigbee to MQTT. Then what you need to do is select your smart plug. So click on the smart plug and then from the screen, which is in the smart plug here, what you need to do is select the reporting option so click on reporting and then here you'll see we've got minimum reporting interval now as you can see these are all set at 10 minutes so what you can do is just in each box change it with the arrow up or down so for example change the current summary delivered every five minutes so you can change this from 10 to 5 and once you've updated it to the required minutes that you want the updates to be applied just click apply next to each setting here. So we'll click apply and you'll see it's configured reporting for smart plug in the bottom right corner. So what I'll do is change it back to 10 minutes, which is the default and click apply. 
So that's how easy it is to change the reporting interval for the smart plug. So what we'll do is go back to the overview screen and then what we'll do is click on voltage. And as you can see, we've still got no information yet because 10 minutes hasn't expired. But once it does, it will then start to fill in this graph here. So what we'll do is click X to close that pop up window. Now, of course, with this smart plug energy consumption, this will then give you an idea of how much your electricity is costing to run your device that's plugged into your smart plug. So what you'd need to do obviously is go onto your electricity account or view one of your electricity bills and obtain the pence per kilowatt hour or whatever rating they are recording your bill at. So here in the UK, the energy providers charge us by kilowatt hours. So of course, once you've built up a graph, you can then go onto a website, which you can search on the internet to calculate energy consumption. So there's various websites out there that calculate electricity consumption. So all you need to do is obtain the information here in the smart plug monitoring and also your kilowatt hour rating. So the charge per kilowatt hour, put it in the information in the website and then it will tell you how much the device is costing to run, which is plugged into your smart plug. So that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful and hope it helps you sort of reduce your electricity bill. So thanks for watching and I'll be back in again soon with more videos. So bye for now.